Actually, you want to know a funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's black, one of the lessons that we learned. Black people still aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. Okay. I disagree with you. I think okay. you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the equality in before the law. When you are and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we have three I, different shades Don, of Don, I think we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today, to say that, compare that to 1865 and 1964, I think you to compare it to 1865 and 1964 is I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit there and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your what, what, you're what part thinking, of the history was wrong? What, 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 what part of the history, history was wrong? That, that but you're me regarding here, you as a fellow citizen. That you're that's sitting what I think here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm what it's like to be black. Whatever in America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I gotta tell you guys, I just witnessed. Something that I've been wanting to witness for a long time on mainstream liberal media, which is a smart Republican go on the platform and trigger these liberal hosts with facts and logic while also using their race hustling arguments against them to advocate and to prove conservative policy positions and points, which is exactly what presidential candidate, GOP presidential candidate, Vivek Ramaswamy did on Don Lemon's morning show that got Don Lemon super heated to the point where he told Mr. Ramaswamy that because he doesn't have black skin, because he ain't black, even though Mr. Ramaswamy is a so-called person of color, right? It's all supposed to be in the same bucket against the white man, usually. But in this case right here, Don gets upset because Mr. Ramaswamy accurately explains history and how, historically speaking, uh, gun control laws have been racist, okay? They've been racist against black folks, okay? And the left, they hate this argument, even though they love the systemic racism argument that's holding black people back. They love to use it when it comes to economic stuff, but when it comes to guns, okay, aka the slave code, stuff like that, uh, they don't want to hear about it, right? Because they want to take away people's Second Amendment rights, okay? However, Mr. Ramaswamy has staunchly defended uh people's second amendment rights and he's using the race hustlers arguments against them uh in order to uh make arguments to help secure and to keep our rights uh to be armed okay and uh don lemon because he's a democrat party propagandist he's also a race hustler uh he's gonna get pissed off about facts right facts about black history okay and it is absolutely amazing okay so i want to react to that but before i get in that i gotta let you guys know if you haven't noticed uh, I'm very energetic this morning for this video, partly because I'm excited about the topics I've been talking about today, but also because I'm getting my essential vitamins and minerals, okay, that allows me to make so many videos and to work so much on a daily basis. And that is why I'm excited about the sponsor of this video, Organics Nature. You probably know that low energy is not supposed to be a part of your day to day. And if you're experiencing low energy, then that means that something's probably missing from your diet, okay? You're not getting the key essential minerals and vitamins that you need to keep your body functioning properly. And Organics Nature has the natural solution with their CMOS-based products. CMOS has 92 out of 103 essential minerals that your body needs to function properly efficiently such as magnesium potassium iodine iron among others combined with bladder rack and burdock root you can expect even greater health benefits not only is sea moss easy to take but it also comes in a convenient forms such as gummies which i have here uh <laughs> i like these the best uh and capsules made with all natural and organic ingredients so that you can feel good about what you're putting inside of your body for a limited time only, get 50% off your second CMOS product when you purchase from Organic Nature using discount code BOGO50 at checkout. And make sure that you tell them that I sent you by using the link in the description below. And don't wait because your health is your wealth. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it.
Uh, I just um, want to better understand something you said this week speaking uh, before the audience at the NRA. Here, here's what you said um, referring to back to 1865. Here it was. I want you to raise your hand if you know when the first anti-gun laws were passed in this country. Raise your hand if you do. 1865. You want to know when it happened? We fought a civil war in this country to give black Americans the equal protection under the law that we failed to secure them in 1776. But then you want to know what happened? Southern states passed anti-gun laws that stopped black people from owning guns. The Democrat Party then, as in now, wanted to put them back in chains. Facts. Facts. Again, I'm trying to figure out uh, what is not factual about that statement. Okay? Uh, again, he, he's just stating facts. And again, these facts trigger people. Which is funny to me because... Usually when they make statements like this about, you know, the discrimination and the laws that were passed against black people to held black people back, they love having this conversation except when it comes to this topic right here, which, I, again, I find to be fascinating. Then, as in now, that's quite an accusation about the current Democratic Party. Who and what were you referring to? I was referring to Joe Biden and his expression of wanting to put them back in chains dating back to Lyndon Johnson. I think Lyndon Johnson's so-called great society was one of the greatest misnomers in American political history. Facts, right? It really is. I would argue that the great society is what actually destroyed society, specifically the family. Okay, and I just literally did a video about this, so I'm not going to go into details and specifics, but, you know, Vivek Hill would talk a little bit more about it. Where even back then in the 1960s, 70% plus of black kids were born into two-parent homes, Today, that number is less than 30% in the opposite direction. The very policies that we implemented in this country in the name of helping black Americans have actually been disastrous for black Americans and all Americans. And I think so that that's something that we need to wake up to. In 1865, you were talking about the black codes, right? That's right. Passed, enacted to make it a crime for a black person to carry a gun exactly. in the South. But you're equating that to the current president? You're referring to economic chains? What are you saying? Well, I, I was referring to Joe Biden's, I think, ill-chosen expression to say they're the party that wants to put you back into chains. What I'm actually saying is that if you look at the policies you of the just modern said Democratic that about Party. Democrats. Absolutely. So what I'm saying is that actually it's policies like that of Lyndon Johnson and Joe Biden that are actually holding black Lyndon Americans Johnson's back. The war on poverty? Yes. And in particular, his great society where he actually created incentives in the family where if you're a family, you could actually get more money by not having the father in the home. What, Guess what you get? Of, you get what you pay for. Of, I think it's been really bad for the black community. I think it's really bad for all Americans. What do you have any? <laughs> so again, it's funny because CNN is pushing back so hard against this. Well, by first about acting dumb, <laughs> acting stupid, like they don't know what he's talking about. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're not that educated on this issue. But guys, can you ever imagine a moment where somebody has spoke this type of truth on CNN's airways? Now, the only reason they're allowing this guy on is because he's a GOP presidential candidate and he's not Trump, right? And he's not necessarily a Trump guy, okay? Even though he's pro-Trump policies, he's not necessarily a Trumper, okay? And that's why they're allowing him on the program. And he has given them way more truth and facts in history than they've had on the program probably in a long, long, long time. It's just absolutely hilarious to see. Anything on this before I move on I, to I China? Just, I don't see what one has to do with the other, but go on. I took up a lot of time with Fox. Oh, no, it's Day. fine. We have time. I, I, don't, I don't really see what one has to do with the other, especially consider and using the Civil War to talk about black Americans. That war was not fought for black people to have guns. That's, that's, that's not... That war was fought for black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. You know what's funny about that statement Don Lemon made? Is that he would never say that in response to somebody saying... Slavery. Why are you talking about slavery in reference to black Americans and how black Americans are doing in America today? Right. But when he talks about slavery in reference to gun laws that the Democrats are trying to pass the history of gun laws in this country, which, again, you know, if you want to use the liberal argument here, which is what Vivek is using. OK, the woke argument is that, hey, they're racist. All of a sudden, Don Lemon don't understand, right? I don't get it. I don't get the connection, right? I don't know why you're going that far back to talk about modern day problems, but they don't mind doing that when it comes to the conversation of systemic racism on other issues. It's just funny to me how Don gets so triggered by this. He seems so 
kind of taken back and like maybe to a certain extent even uninterested in having this conversation that he's in my opinion probably not really prepared for right he didn't really expect to get this much truth actually that's why the civil war was fought okay and the sad that part wasn't about fought it for, for black people to have guns i think actually you don't know funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their second amendment rights were secured mm -hmm. And I think that that's but, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. I disagree with you. And I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the quality of the law. Skin, and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we have three I, different shades Don, of Don, I think we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin. Black. Black Americans today to say that compare that to 1865 and 1964. I think to compare it to 1865 and 1964 is actually. I, I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit here and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your, what, what, you're what part thinking, of the history was wrong? What, 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 what part of the history, history was wrong? That the Civil War was fought. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people, only for black people to get guns and for black people to the have The Civil War was fought for rights. black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission. And I think that it, even yes, after, right. even after we succeeded, to, to we had to actually secure those freedoms. It, to reduce it in a speech at the NRA to say you're making people think are you trying to say that black people uh, to get guns? That was that, that was the reason that you're there at the NRA. That was the reason for uh, for the Civil War. It I is think a that's fact. Reductive. It's not and reductive. I think it's Don. insulting. There are a whole plethora of reasons that I, for look, the Civil with War. With due respect, I find I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of the secured hold, hang on, that please, I Facts. Facts. See, this is what I'm talking about, right? This is what I'm talking about. Don Lemon has no problem when people connect today's modern day problems to slavery. When again, when it comes to this conversation about so-called systemic raci racism or any other issue, he has no problem with it. He participates in that, right? He has no problem when Democrats come out here and characterize GOP policies as Jim Crow, right? Joe Biden's word, Jim Eagle, okay? He has no problems with those type of references. But he has an issue. He gets triggered, triggered because Vivek Ramaswamy is telling a more accurate version of black history in regards to how important the second amendment was to securing the rights for black folk now unfortunately after the civil war black people still had to continue to fight to secure gun rights because of racist democrats and i do think there is some questions about the nra and, and their role in you know gun legislation and laws uh back during the early 1900s more specifically but re regardless um back then th the whole point is that well the Civil War was fought to secure freedoms for black people, which included the right to keep and bear arms. That is the point that Vivek Ramaswamy is trying to make that Don Lemon is pretending that he doesn't get. Okay? <laughs> He's pretending he doesn't really understand it. Or that it is insulting to, to say that, yeah, um, the ability to keep and bear arms was a part of some of the fundamental freedoms that this country fought. People died, right? A lot of white people died, by the way. They don't like to mention that. Uh, to help black people secure some of these fundamental rights. I don't understand why Don Lemon gets so triggered by facts. Again, apparently facts are triggering. This guy is such a political hack, Don Lemon. And it frustrates me because I know part of Don Lemon, the sexist Don Lemon, is kind of base, right? But this guy, or girl, Donna, right? We really don't know when it comes to some of these liberal folks. Don Lemonade here, who is the not base version of Don, the race hustling version of Don, makes me sick. Can't stand the guy. Can't stand the race hustling version of Don Lemonade. Can't stand him. I keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. 
only after their Second Amendment Black rights were secured. Have, they That's were a not fact. secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction, you're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War, and, and that things turned around. People would, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed to And you know how they the got Civil it? War they got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the final... The NRA did the, not play a well, big role in that. Absolutely, they trained black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. That's but, not. The NRA actually, did not play a big role This in is that. just historical fact. It's, but it's down not the, historical the, fact. The part that I find... because you say it's historical fact. The part that I find insulting is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through that I civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's and where I you and I have the a freedoms different point that of black view. and white that black people don't have in this he, country here, and that black people do have. Well, here's country. where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, insulting that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. You're sitting here, whatever ethnicity you are. Explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, I'll what tell it's you, like to be black. Whatever America. ethnicity I'm I am, I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, what? white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this on debate. The content I think you should, of the if you're ideas. Do it. You should do it in an honest way and in a I fair think, way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Oh yeah, with, we appreciate God. you coming on. With Thank due respect, Don, I look Thank forward to continuing that conversation. We'll Thank continue you. The conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Papa. We'll talk. Wow. Wow. This man, Don said, whatever race or ethnicity you are. Wow. Again, imagine if a white man said that. If a white man told a so-called person of color, uh, you can't have this conversation with me because you're whatever, you know, ethnicity or race that you are. You can't tell me blah, blah, blah. Bro, imagine the reaction. This guy, Don Lemon, this guy is insane. He's he, he's off the chain. <laughs> Somebody check Don Lemon, bro. Real talk. This guy is sitting here saying, you can't have a conversation with me because you're not black. Well, you ain't black. Again, in any other conversation, right, if it's if it's everybody else versus the white man, right, oh, only people of color can do such and such and such, and people of color are all in the same boat together, right? They're, they're all the same. But when you have a so-called person of color that disagrees with the liberal left, all of a sudden Don Lemon is like, well, even though you're a person of color, I'm black. So you can't tell me what it's like to have black skin. And I'm sitting here like, this guy, Vivek Ramaswamy, he's basically, he, he darker than you, Don. You lighter than him, <laughs> right? You lighter than him. Again, absolutely amazing. So disrespectful of Don Lemon. But again, this is what happens when you hear facts. When you hear facts about history and how an essential part of everybody's rights, not just black people's rights, is the right to keep and bear arms. Because that is in opposition to Don's personal political opinion. He wants to take issue with the history and the facts to push his own propaganda and narrative, which is just simply not true. Or pretend like he doesn't understand what Vivek Ramaswamy is saying. Or to try to say that, well, he can't talk about this. He can't have this conversation because he ain't black. He ain't black enough, <laughs> right? Again, it's absolutely amazing. This is why they don't allow Republicans on CNN like that. That's why they don't allow Republicans like Vivek Ramaswamy, smart guys, <laughs> right, on the platform. They don't allow Trump supporters on the platform because of moments like this. Too much truth for the audience. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and support the share a black conservative perspective. Peace.